This is a series of bite wings of one patient. Uh, vertical bite wings taken with a ring system. And you can see it's projecting up on a screen. There's decay in this area, it's very significant. And when we look at the other areas of the mouth, uh, there's a little bit of grayness here, but it's near the cement of this crown that's been uh, placed. Uh, there's still some grain is here, but that could be cement as well. And uh, so that's uh, a projection of that one uh, tooth number 19. Now the other x-rays for this patient. Here's the x-rays a little further forward. You see the, where that big hole was on 19. You can see this is where there was an onlay with some sort of deep filling there. And this green is all seems to be mixed in. X-rays, the ability to read X-rays is to be able to see the different colors of gray. The other side looks like this and you have the upper right and you can see where there's been some work done on these actually these five teeth and here it's darker and there it's darker and so you think in terms of there's decay there this is a crown that was done and you have some spacing there and then you have the other work that's been down below on tooth number 29 and 30 Final x-ray. There's a little further back of the same area. We see 29, 30, 31. Here's the area. And when you come in from a different angle, it doesn't look to be as dark. But there's still some darkness there. And then you have this crown that uh, was placed there. So those are the x-rays for uh, this patient, um, and we need to decide what to do. Normally, you would go to the largest area and remove the decay there first, which is tooth number 19.